Only at 10 tonight, ACL injuries and female athletes are on the rise. Up 400% in the last decade. That's according to a New York Times report. And as Britton Lynn tells us, doctors are now working to prevent ACL injuries in the sport of cheerleading. It was last year we were in our preliminary round for nationals and my tumbling pass within the first 10 seconds of the routine was a runoff back handspring full. I went and I did the full and I landed and my knee buckled. Oh no, she's hurt, man. I tore my ACL. Surgery and rehab forced Alex out for six months. It was pretty, it was a lot of hard work. ACL tears like Alex's have become more common in female athletes. And it could be season ending, it could be career ending. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report that overall girls are eight times more likely to suffer an ACL injury than boys. So ACL injuries are, are fixable, but if you can avoid them, you want to avoid them. Dr. Dugas volunteers as the medical director for USA Cheer, in addition to working as one of the doctors with American Sports Medicine Institute. That's the mission of ASMI is injury prevention and, and research. So we're, we're actively working on that in cheerleading, which is something that hopefully is going to make a difference. By combining advanced technology with science in ASMI's world-class biomechanical lab. What are the forces going through their ankles, their knees, their hips, their shoulders, and things like that? And stand back up. Good. One of the most important components of the biomechanical testing is the force plate. Each one's worth about $10,000 and measures the weight of a cheerleader's landing. We can see them land on these force plates and see what kind of forces are being generated through the body mm -hmm. in different positions. If they land perfectly square, if they land a little bit to the side. It's measuring your force a thousand times every second because an impact, bam, that's a lot of force but over a really short time. ASMI's research has shown that force combined with the slightest error in technique can lead to an ACL tear like Alex's. When she got hurt, her knee buckled like this. Yeah. So as she came in, she pronated and her knee turned in a little bit. And so that's, that's how you knew that's one way, that's one of them, that's the mechanism for tearing your ACL. If you watch her kneecaps, you'll see that her kneecaps stay perfectly straight towards the camera. They never buckle in. Probably one of the most important things for protecting her ACL. She's doing everything right. Working alongside USA Cheer, Dr. Dugas found another part of the issue. They were all complaining about how their feet hurt and how their shoes were, they're pretty flimsy shoes. They're designed to be held by the bases. You know, they're very lightweight to be flying around, but they're also not very supportive. And so the idea came up. Dr. Dugas contacted a company out of Texas called Topical Gear. They developed an orthotic called a cheerthotic. They were built to go specifically into cheer shoes and they're designed to hold the arches up mm -hmm. instead of allowing the athlete to pronate in their shoes. With people like me that have not much arch in their foot. Having these definitely give a lot of support. Cheerthotics now helps athletes like Alex worry less about injuries and focus more on competing safely. Thank you. <laughs> Britton Lynn, Fox 6 Sports. Now we can also tell you Alex, the cheerleader you saw in the story, recently made the Ole Miss varsity cheerleading squad. We have more information about Cheerthotics on our website, myfoxal.com.